today we are performing charging and discharging. So we are finding the time constant for charging and discharging. For this purpose, this is all the setup. This is already made. Okay. So now this is. First, I am taking the 10 volt. For the 10 volt, you have to do just this is our the source source of the voltage, and I am measuring how much voltage I am giving to the circuit. Uh, given to the circuit. For this purpose, I make this connection, and now. I start the power on and see this. I can value, I can manage, I can manage the voltage by this knob. And you can see here, this is the 8 volt, 9 volt, and the 10 volts. So we are giving the voltage to the circuit. Is the 10 volt amount of the voltage which is given to the circuit is 10 volt. Now we are making the connection for the charging. Okay. The connection is same both for charging and discharging. So now this see the processor. I am giving this is our the source of voltage which is the 10 volt we have already seen. Okay. So I am giving this voltage to the circuit. Okay. So for this purpose I make this connection output to input and positive terminal of our meter is connected to the positive terminal of this circuit. Okay, this is the given here. This is the ammeter, and the negative terminal of ammeter is connected to here. Okay, and now my resistance is 10 kilo ohm, and one one capacitance which we have to connect. This is the 1000 microfarad. Okay, now I have to introduce the voltage in my circuit. So positive terminal of this voltage is connected to the positive of this. Okay. And negative terminal of voltage is connected to negative of this. For the charging, we will start this and now the C. Now see, this is the condition of charging. Okay. For this, we will measure the time, time taken for the charging of the one voltage. This is the stopwatch. So, I can damp it. If you want to uh, uh, discharge it immediately, so use the damping. Okay. Now it is damped. Notice my power is off. Now, I, I want to charge it by the one volt. So, time taken for this the charging the one voltage. I will use the stopwatch. Now, see in this meter, voltmeter. See in the voltmeter. This is condition for charging. Okay. Now, how much time I will start at this? Sorry. Okay. Okay. I will take again. condition for charging and uh, why it is so okay. I am charging for the one volt I am measuring the one volt for the one volt time taken to charge the one volt okay now I start I this this is time this is my time 1.69 second time taken no, you will. You have to uh, take the observation till the 10 volts, just like 1 volt, 2 volt, 3 volt, 4 volt, and 5 volt, and 7 volt. Then you have to plot the graph and the reading. Then you have to uh, plot the graph and uh, for the time constant. We can also measure the time constant by the formula, which we already know, and uh, by also the graph. By the graph. We have to measure the time at which 60% of its maximum voltage. Time taken to charging of the 60% of its 63. 63% of its the maximum voltage. Measure that time. That is the time uh, time constant for 